Welcome to episode two, where we talk about is your relationship social media ready? Is it? Is it? (laughs) (laughs) But before we get into the episode, um, yeah, thank you for those who found our new podcast. Come on. As the name clearly suggests, it's We Are The Baileys. Um, I said it wrong in our first episode. It's not that we're changing our channel. We're changing the name of the playlist. That's right. So the playlist on our YouTube channel, We Are The Baileys, is no longer called Catch Up Fridays, but it's called We Are The Baileys. We Are The Baileys, that's right. Right, because it's matching the name of our podcast. Yep. And for those who don't know us, let's introduce ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So we're Tiko and Gabrielle. We've been married for five years. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we have two boys under the age of two right now. Kalino and Kavika. Kavika. Sweet little boys. Hey. We're full-time missionaries. Yeah. Um, we've been missionaries for the past... Oh, no. I think we've been missionaries together for like 10 years. Yeah. Well, five as a family, yeah. but longer as individuals. So we've been missionaries right. for over 10 years. That's right. Yeah. And we're currently... Based in the land of Aloha. Aloha, yes. So yeah. we're Jamaicans living in Hawaii, and that that's a whole different story. We'll it get is. to that in a different <laughs> podcast. But today we're talking about is, is your relationship, relationship social media, media ready? ready? Mm, is it really? Um, and I don't even know if we're qualified to talk about this mm. because we <laughs> we didn't post about our relationship on social media. Well, doesn't mean that we are not qualified. Yeah. I think we've seen enough things yeah. and heard enough stuff. I'm wondering for a bias to, to ask to ask these questions. Okay. You know, we're not telling people. We're also asking like, there you is go. it is it ready? There you go. What determines what makes a relationship social media ready? So I was looking online, right? Because. Yeah. Okay, we didn't post about a relationship, mm-hmm. did we? No. Um, closer when we felt like it was ready. I don't think we posted until we were engaged. Yeah, well, that's so. when we felt like it was ready. <laughs> I'm talking about people who post it when they're dating. Yeah. So that's why I feel like we are so different. But yeah, yeah. we didn't post about a relationship on social media until we were engaged. Mm-hmm. So people didn't know... Like, those who weren't living close to us mm-hmm. didn't know we were dating yeah. until okay. they saw the engagement. Yeah, they didn't know. Okay. So, I was looking online, um, which, oh, it's so crazy today to yeah. determine if your relationship is social media ready. Because there's, like, this website that says, if it's too soon, don't mm. post, like, before the first three months. Yeah. Um, try to post together. If you wait too long, then it might mean that you mm-hmm. aren't interested or that you have trust issues. Mm. If you don't post enough, then it means that you don't really care about the relationship. Whoa. If you post too much, then it means they're insecure. And I'm like... Well, I think... I think I like though, I like what they said before the first three months because, I mean, this is something you're going in for a lifetime. But like, what if... What if we get together yeah. people get together and then they know like they know they just know instantly love at first sight love at first sight yeah is love at first sight <laughs> even real is that even real that's the question it's possible <laughs> tell us guys is love at first sight really real i mean it is real but how long does it last that's the question <laughs> so that's true three months is a good yeah. parameter yeah. to be like okay we kind of know each other. Mm-hmm. Let's see if this is going to be exclusive. Let's well, see if it's going to get well, I to think, the next I step. think it's not so much posting your relationship on social media, but it's like how much of it do you post on social media, you know? Um, mm-hmm. Like, I, I just... In my opinion, I think some people overdo it too soon. Mm-hmm. Like, you're going to have the rest of your life to post about your relationship. So, if you want. Mm-hmm. So, like, why do too much of it too soon? And I think the 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 challenge with all of that is when there's a breakup. Yeah. When there's yeah. a breakup and it doesn't go in the direction that you thought it would have gone. Right. Because, yeah. And that just really mess you up badly okay. because the world has all of this thing to talk about now and you don't know what to do with yourself. I've, I've met some people who that has devastated, mm-hmm. you know. And so the question is, like, how much is too much and how soon is too soon do we actually think about um do we ask ourselves those questions Mm -hmm. before we jump right into social media Mm -hmm. um and what i'm hearing you're saying too mm -hmm. is that when we 
open ourselves to social media, mm-hmm. it basically is saying that we're welcoming everybody else into this relationship. Oh, yeah. So if we, the people oh, yeah. in the relationship, don't actually know what it is mm-hmm. or where it's going or if it's going to last a long time, mm-hmm. then it's going to be a lot more chaotic to add everybody else in the world in there. Exactly. Because now you have to answer all the questions. Of, oh, yeah, we broke up. We aren't together anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, And you have to answer a whole lot of that. Right. Um, and just what that does to your identity moving forward. Right. You know, um, and the, the challenge is to not many of us have good mentors guiding us along this season, right. along this time period. Right. We're really big on mentors just oh, because yeah. for our story, we know that having people who are, who have gone ahead and mm-hmm. who've seen, who know what relationships are like because of the ones that they're in and they're successful, they know what to expect. And I, I think just about any area in life, um, people... People who are successful or very successful, they usually have mentors, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. or at least when they realize the need for one and how much better they can do when they have a mentor. So what I'm getting so far, Tico, is that, I mean, a lot of this is subjective. Mm -hmm. There isn't any um, definite formula in terms of how you have to post or when to post. Yeah. Um, because it's dependent on really when you guys feel ready. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also dependent on... Because you can't necessarily judge your relationship on what everybody else says. That is true. But there are some things that you should never post online mm-hmm. about your relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think there is some caution. That's true. There is some caution in terms of how many things you do post because emotionally you're making memories Mm -hmm. and if this doesn't go on to be something permanent exactly (laughs) so you're investing a lot emotionally everybody in your you know in your space is going through this relationship with you and then when you break up oh my word don't post so much about the breakup yeah (laughs) oh i mean i guess one of my question is are people posting a lot about their relationship because of uh, peer pressure Mm. Or is it because they want people to know mm. the progress of the relationship? You know what I mean? You like, mean, are is, you it, ju- is it for validation exactly. or are is, we happy mm. and we're secure and we, mm. we want to share about Are that? you just doing it because your friends are posting about their relationship and point. you want to find some sort of identity point. in that to say, well, I'm dating too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's kind of a status quo thing. That's a good um, point. Or is it that you're posting because you want friends and family to know how the relationship is going like what's the reason why you're posting mm-hmm. so much about your relationship mm-hmm. um in and it's not just about your relationship it's the dating phase the phase where you're trying to figure out do we want to get married do we want to stay with each other right. forever right. if that's already sealed and a done deal then fine post on post however many photos videos pictures you want to but it's such a crucial stage when you are just dating right. and trying to figure out who is this person I'm dating? Right. Do I want to spend the rest of my life with you? Mm-hmm. And that's just very it's, very, it's a delicate phase. It's a delicate Let phase. Let me ask you this, because people do, well, from the female perspective, mm-hmm. say I've been in a relationship um, and it ended, but you know, all of that I shared on social media, that mm-hmm. ended... And then I got into a new relationship. Mm. Do I need to delete the things that I had about the last person? Or do I just leave them there? So that's one question. Mm -hmm. Two, do I keep sharing? Mm. You know, say I keep sharing and then this second relationship ends. Yeah. And then you're you're interested. You're the third person coming along. Mm Mm-hmm. Are you thinking by looking at my history on social media with the sharing and mm. breaking up and all of that, are you thinking, hmm, this person probably is going to be a permanent thing? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Like if somebody keeps sharing about the relationship online, they get together, they break up. Mm-hmm. They get together, break up, that sort of thing. Yeah. Are you thinking when you get to that person, yeah, she might be serious or she not she's she not serious mm-hmm. you know what i mean well i guess um, or do you think like yep this is marriage quality or not it depends on the individual no you i'm asking oh, me. you yeah. oh i'm all about clearing the baggage mm. i don't believe in bringing over from one relationship to the next like who really wants to do that you know mm. um i would say clear the baggage start fresh mm. um 
that's just me yeah yeah, yeah. clear the baggage start fresh um, because it's more than just dating a new person there is a spiritual connection to all of that right. and you're throwing that yeah. all out in the public you know um, there are implications to that let's put it that way yeah uh, maybe maybe a lot of us don't share about the emotional um, um, the emotional baggage it's the, like the soul emotional, ties but yeah the soul we only, ties we, people yeah, only talk yeah. about soul ties when yeah. they talk about sex before marriage mm -hmm. but there are emotional soul ties mm -hmm. I believe that where mm -hmm. we get together we make these memories we travel mm -hmm. around the world or we do all these things mm -hmm. and then we break up and it is it's emotionally pulling apart all of these things that we've created together and that's mm -hmm. what social media kind of does as well yeah. where we put our memories out there we solidify things that we've done in pictures and so everybody's on this journey with you mm -hmm. and when you break up it's pulling apart mm -hmm. all of like those ripping, things ripping cutting right. tearing right. like it's literally tearing apart right and so i do think the caution is you want to wait until it is until you're fairly certain that this is going to be permanent mm -hmm. i'm not saying don't take the pictures don't have the memories but probably don't involve everybody in it mm -hmm. until you're sure that this is going to be don't or, wait as or, long as we did or, until or yeah you don't have to wait as long as we did yeah but you could have a private circle of friends yeah. who you share stuff with it doesn't have to be the world so to speak right um but and if then again if then you're again comfortable it, go for it's the personality exactly. of the person you know like exactly. different people different personalities cultural backgrounds oh you word. know cultural norms you yeah. know like when is too much just too much yeah. like i guess um or or reason for discussing this is because we've seen a lot of people or or several persons go through this mm -hmm. it didn't work and it has made us very sad um, very um, disappointed, would you say? Maybe disappointed is not, not the word. But, is the word. Um, I, I think I would we say discouraged, like, sad, and wish we could have helped them we to make better decisions. I think we cringe internally, yeah. like, no, don't <laughs> shoot it again. Like, yeah. Don't tell anybody. And then, of. like, I think we're, we're, we're in a culture where boundaries aren't even. Um, we don't value boundaries. Mm. We don't value boundaries. It's all about and that's, that do whatever you want to do. Oh Everything word. is just yeah. free. Go as you feel. Go as you want to yeah. do. And um, there's no real value for healthy boundaries yeah. um, without people feeling like, oh, you're putting me in a box or you're restricting me. No. Boundaries are good. Boundaries are healthy. They're there to help you. Mm -hmm. um, I think boundaries even come about because um, people who've gone ahead of you realize some of the pitfalls mm -hmm. and they're trying to help you not make the same mistakes and so why wouldn't you want to right, have healthy boundaries right and i think as well too it is the social media ready thing mm -hmm. is it's also how do i say this the glam it, no not necessarily the glam i'm talking about i think part of the the issue that we not necessarily the issue, mm -hmm. but the thing that we see, the pitfall that we're seeing with people s posting on social media too quickly, mm -hmm. is that they're kind of rushing through the steps. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, like I said, we aren't we aren't the barometers that so yeah. we can't tell people yeah, when they do these things, <laughs> right? But yeah. what I'm saying is, you can't post meet the family and like they're. Th those are those things happen in time mm -hmm. like you can kind of feel when it's time to mm -hmm. do those things and sometimes it happens too quickly mm -hmm. and, and you know it yeah and the people watching know it and you're yeah. like mm, mm -hmm. you probably should have wait three more mm -hmm. months and, yeah. mm, <laughs> don't do that you know like and 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 the thing too is that sometimes these people do seek out the counsel of people who are married and then yeah. they tell them oh don't do it you guys probably need more time and you're like you don't know us yeah. we love each other yeah and it's true. When you're in that phase, you think that this definitely won't happen. But it happens. Yeah. And I think if it's for you, I think if that relationship is yours, there's no rush. Mm -hmm. There's no rush mm -hmm. to to get it to this place of officialness. Yeah, because you're going to spend the rest of your life together. Right. So, like, why rush it? Every, exactly. You know, why rush everything? Like, you know, it's you're going to be there. Social media is going to be there. All these things are going to be there, you know? Right, right. So... I guess that's our that's our thing for today. Like, mm -hmm. 
you have to figure out why you're posting to social media is it because of validation is it because of insecurity is your partner on the same page are mm -hmm. you guys ready to share things on social media mm -hmm. or is it is it because of peer pressure is it because of yeah, peer yeah. pressure like who are you trying to please by yeah. doing this is right. it yourself is it with a relationship or you just want to create that status quo mm -hmm. or you know that things are going great yeah. and you're in the circle of those who are in a relationship mm -hmm. because it means it there's just so much more to a relationship than that that you don't want to jeopardize um your life in that way i think we don't Not think of they jeopardize i think you don't want to jeopardize right the possibility of a relationship by moving too quickly well i said jeopardize because we don't always think of it not working. Mm -hmm. we're, we're always just saying it That's will so work. That's so true. We don't think of will it not work. Unless because you're pessimistic. Because if, if we thought about <laughs> what if this doesn't work, then maybe we'd be a little bit more cautious, cautious or sensitive to all that we post. Mm -hmm. And um, as you say, you're making deep memories that you don't know if they're actually going to last. Yeah. So yeah. you can let us know what your thoughts are on this subject. We'd love to dig in some more. I know, I'm sure. This. There Everybody's might be a part be two. Like, yeah, yes yeah some no. people might be cussing us out and like, what do you know? Exactly. And like, well, Just because you're married, you can't tell us yeah, what to do. Yeah, but the truth <laughs> is, guys, we're not, we're not speaking down at you. Yeah. We're saying we want to help you. We'd love to um, maybe support you through this journey if that's something that you think you want because the person has to want it too. Right. You right. know, um, and we talk about this because we've had some friends, we've had several friends who've gone through this and they're now on the other side mm -hmm. dealing with all the issues and we're like, what could we have done to help them more? Mm -hmm. So it's more from that perspective yep. in which we share about yep. this topic. So there might be a part two, guys. There might be, or might, might not. Or might not be. Yeah. So leave your thoughts, comments, and... Yeah. Um, Check us out on Instagram too. Yep. Um, at We Are The Dailies, the same name as the podcast, mm -hmm. same name as the YouTube channel. Yeah. You can't miss us anywhere. You can't miss us. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good talking with you guys again. Yeah. Yeah. Aloha.